As you might have noticed, you're not able to download your friend's email addresses anymore on Facebook due to the privacy concerns that Facebook has now since the whole Cambridge Analytica debacle. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a backdoor and get those emails anyways. So let's go ahead and get that started. What's up guys, I'm Andre from Markets and Data, the place where I help you find data for your markets and markets for your data. Uh, so before you go anywhere, please hit the subscribe button faster than you would hit the one button checkout on Amazon so I can help bring you uh, better videos if I know the viewership is out there. So uh, the purpose of this video is basically to show you how you would be able to extract emails from your friends list on Facebook because as you know, those emails are not available to regular users anymore via the Facebook platform, but they are available via a th third party who integrates Facebook services for that matter. And since those people integrate Facebook's information, they're able to share the information that they extract along with you. So for the beginning portion of this video, you do not need to have any programming knowledge to be able to extract those emails because I'll show you how to do that without anything. And for the later part of this video, I'll show you how uh, you can use Python to um, parse the email addresses that you get from your Word document. So let's go ahead and get started now. Hey, welcome to the office. So before we get started, we'll just quickly need to plan out our workflow so we know where we are in each stage of this process. So let's go ahead and do that. To begin, we're going to use a backdoor account in order to extract the emails from Facebook. Once we get those emails, we're going to download them. And once they are downloaded, we're going to parse those emails using Python. And we're going to save those uh, the output of those emails into a CVS file. So let's go ahead and navigate over to our backdoor using our favorite inter internet browser, Firefox or Chrome or whichever one you prefer. And once you have it open, let's just go over to yahoo.com. Now, Yahoo is going to be our backdoor access to the Facebook emails since Facebook does not want to give out those emails directly anymore. Uh, once we're on the Yahoo uh, website, you can either create a new account uh, in order to extract those emails that way, or you can use your existing account if you do have one. So once you're inside the email, we're going to just navigate over to the mail portion of it. And once we're in the mail portion, we're just going to click on our contacts list. Once we're on our contacts list, we're going to hit the import button and then it's gonna pop up, a little pop-up. Uh, just make sure your pop-ups are disabled so this will pop up efficiently. And then uh, you're just going to log into your Facebook account naturally as you would. Now, unless you're like me, which I hope you're not, you're not going to have only two friends uh, because I'm not the most popular person in the world, but I'm sure you're far more popular than I am. So this process might take a little bit once you do import your Facebook contacts. So like for me with my, two friends it only took me a few seconds but if you have say like a thousand friends which i'm sure you do and then that process will be a lot quicker once everything is logged in and downloaded the next portion will be to just quickly verify that all of your friends are are downloaded i i would just recommend scrolling through just to make sure that i guess the main people that you want the emails from are in there and then uh the next step going forward will be just to hit the action button at the top and to hit print contacts. Um, we're printing contacts here because I tried messing around with exporting the contacts on the list already and I had no luck whatsoever with the Yahoo client on Chrome. I also tried Firefox which I had no luck in and I just gave up at that point. Since uh, Yahoo is about as old as Alan Turing itself and they hardly ever update anything on their website, um, <laughs> I'm super certain that uh, just trying out those other browsers won't really lead to uh, any further success. Now here's the most important part. You definitely do not just want to print those to paper because Python cannot uh, parse uh, paper unless you somehow have managed to feed Python that paper. So instead, we're just going to save those contacts in uh, the PDF in a PDF on your desktop. So once they're saved, go over to your desktop and just verify that uh, the contacts are there. And what you will need next is you will want to open a text editor. So for me, that is Text Wrangler. 
Uh, so we're going to open that and we're going to open the PDF document that we downloaded earlier with those contacts. Uh, just copy everything from that PDF document and post it into your text document. And once everything is posted in your text document, just quickly save that text document and we will move on to the next portion. But be sure to save that text document on your desktop so we will have quicker access to that file in order to be able to browse, uh, to parse it with Python quicker. So exit out of this and exit out of the Facebook contacts. Okay, so that's pretty much it for part one of this video where we find a way to extract the Facebook emails via a backdoor, which is uh, which I've shown you is Yahoo. So uh, if you are literate in Python or programming, then these ne next few steps are for you because we're going to take that PDF document and we're just going to parse it using Python. Um, pretty sure that there are other ways of parsing documents such as this, but I'm going to mainly focus on Python because that's what I'm comfortable with and because it's just the, the easiest route to go with right now. But in your projects, just feel free to do what uh, you like uh, with that document. Now, in order to parse the document, let's go ahead and pop open our favorite interpreter. And for me, that's going to be PyCharm. And let's let that load. And once it loads, as normal, we're just going to create a new file after closing all these pop-ups. So let's create a new Python file and we're just going to quickly name it Zuckerberg because we are being like Zuckerberg right now. And we're, we're taking information from people who we are friends with or basically like who trust us. So I believe that Zuckerberg is a perfect uh, title for our class. So let's go ahead and type in Zuckerberg. And in our init, we're going to just have our email addresses um, directory be in the constructor, which will be the directory where we put the initial uh, text file for um, the emails that we downloaded from Facebook. And after typing that out, we're going to build out our first method. So we're for our first method, which is going to name it parse emails, and it's going to be enacted on itself. And then we need to call the contacts list. And to do this, we're going to type in contacts list equals the open self email directory. And this is going to be a, a read file because we're going to be reading the the input that we had earlier in that text file. And just to quickly print that out, what we have here, we're just going to type in Zuckerberg and put in our directory that we will copy over right quick. Scooching everything over, copying that directory. And I'm just going to quickly delete the last CVS uh, file that I had with the emails for uh, this video, just to show you that how it works. So now that we have a directory, we're just going to say dot parse emails and we're going to run it. All right, good. So this is what we were hoping for. The, the file opens up and everything is inside that we will be parsing. The next step would be just to split up the lines inside of that by every new line. So we get every single new line that we need now, moving on, we need to define a few variables where we're going to store our emails and also keep track of which of the rows we already visited. Because what the main concept of this is, is that we have each individual line of information and, and each of that, those lines, we will be looking for the specifics that apply to emails, which uh, will be the at sign and the dot com. So to look for those in each line, we're just going to uh, use a for loop and we're going to type in for line and contacts list. And then we're going to use a Boolean for uh, the email address to see if the line that we have does contain the add symbol and the dot com string. So, and then we're going to say if email address is true, then we will have our name will be equal to contacts list and the row and the email will be equal to the line that 
the email on that particular line. Then we're going to append to email underscore name underscore list the name and email that we receive from each line that is a valid line for name and email. And to end this for loop, we're just going to increment row by one for every single iteration that we go through. And let's go ahead to quickly test to make sure that everything is working. And as we see, it's not because I missed the brackets inside of that email list that we will be, be that we will be appending. Now running it again, we see that the output has become what we specifically wanted to get out of the emails list. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. Um, my favorite thing to work with is pandas. And that's what, we'll, what I'll be showing you here uh, going forward. Um, Pandas is super easy to work with. So what we'll be doing is just storing the email addresses and names that we get from uh, our output uh, using Pandas. And to do this, we're just going to type in DF, which DF stands for data frame, equal to pd.dataframe. And we're going to put the email name list inside of our data frame and then specify the columns to be name and the email corresponding to the input that we give pandas from our emails name list. And just to finish everything off, we're going to uh, put everything into a CVS file by typing in df.2csv, copying the file path from earlier, and then just adding our emails.csv to the end to properly close off and save that file to our desktop. Okay, running it, we got emails. Let's open that email CSV file. And as you see, my whole two friends from Facebook are on there, which I'm super proud of, of having because two is only one away from three. And I'm pretty sure I'll get to three eventually as I continue making these YouTube videos. Now that we have those emails, you're probably wondering what you can do with them. Uh, what kind of information do you need in order to make those emails useful? Because you just don't want to be sending random emails to your friends, hoping that you might find a common interest between all of them, because most likely you will be annoying a lot of people and you will basically be using the same tactics that they did in the 2000s whenever they had the mass email marketing uh, to everyone. So because we don't want to make people mad, what we want to do is we want to gather a little bit more information from Facebook directly about your friends to be able to better market to them the, the goods or services that you might be selling or just to find out what your friends are like to better understand them and also to better understand yourself because usually the type of friends that you have are a reflection of yourself as well. Now, the rest of this video won't focus on what you can do with the information, but if you go ahead and subscribe below, I will be putting out further videos about how you can gather more information on your friends uh, using the, the bot that I build to uh, grab that data. And with that, I'll go ahead and see you guys in my future videos. Ciao.